Welcome to Savunma Turkey YouTube channel. In this video, we will examine the F-515 TCG Istanbul frigate, which is the first locally constructed frigate of the Turkish Navy, and the technological innovations that come with the ship. While examining the TCG Istanbul frigate, we will first reveal the physical characteristics of the ship and compare these features with modern frigates in the world's navies. Then we will examine the armament, that are the striking power of the ship. After this review, we will look at the frigate's brain, namely the combat management system. Finally, we will see how the Milgam program will progress after the TCG Istanbul frigate, and then complete our video. TCG Istanbul frigate is a ship that is 113.2 meters long, 14.4 meters wide and has a draft of 4.05 meters. The displacement of the ship is 3,000 tons, and her maximum speed is 29 knots. When the physical characteristics of the frigate are compared to modern frigates in the world's navies, it can be considered that TCG Istanbul is at world averages. At this point, it is worth noting that FREMM and FDI class frigates are classified as destroyers by some countries and NATO. The TCG Istanbul frigate is based on a design targeting low radar visibility. It seems that TCG Istanbul design aims to reduce the radar cross section, so it does not have the dispersed and crowded system layout seen in older designed ships. When the armament of the Istanbul frigate are examined, the first weapon system that stands out is the 76mm gun produced by the Italian Otomolera company located in the bow. Although the 76mm gun is supplied from Italy, the gun fire control system developed by Turkey's Aselsan, it was decided to continue with MKE-produced Turkish guns instead of Italian-made guns on the continuation ships of the Milgam frigate project. Behind the bow gun is the Turkish vertical launcher system, or Midlas for short. This system is a vertical launch system developed in partnership with local companies Aselsan and Rocketson due to difficulties in supplying the MK-41 vertical launch system from the USA. The first test with Midlas was made on December 3, 2022, and in that live firing test, the radio frequency guided his RC missile was fired. This missile is the upgraded naval version of the Hisar O plus missile developed for naval platforms. As of today Midlas cannot be described as a completely finished system. On the contrary, it is a system open to development or upgrades. In addition, it will be possible to launch newly developed missiles such as Sipper and Gezgin missiles, which will be produced by the Turkish defense industry in the future. Midlas, located on TCG Istanbul, consists of 16 cells. 16 cells means 16 missiles ready to fire. However, Work continues on the application of the quad pack system to Midlas, which allows the storage and firing of four missiles of appropriate size in each cell. Thus Midlas will be able to fire up to a maximum of 64 missiles. The main striking power of TCG Istanbul is the Atmagia anti-ship missile produced by Turkish Rocketson. 2x4 US-made Harpoon Block II anti-ship missiles with a range of 130 kilometers are deployed on existing Turkish frigates. However, 2x8 Atmagia anti-ship missiles with a range of 220 plus kilometers are deployed on the TCG Istanbul frigate. That means a significant increase in both missile range and number of missiles. The Gokdena's close-in weapon system is located at the stern. There are two 35mm barrels in the Gokdena's system. Gokdena's can be operated with both the 35mm airburst ammunition named Atom developed by a Selsen, and classical ammunition, depending on the target type. Atom is an advanced ammunition that fragments before contacting the target, and provides coverage over a wide area. TCG Istanbul has two double torpedo tubes. Torpedo tubes, which were difficult to obtain from foreign manufacturers, were developed by Turkish defense giant Aselsan. Factory acceptance tests and port acceptance tests were successfully carried out, and the tubes were integrated into TCG Istanbul for the first time. In addition, the first export of the torpedo tube system was made to an undisclosed foreign customer. A Selsun torpedo tubes can launch NATO standard MK-44, MK-46, and MK-54 torpedoes using high-pressure air. The system is also equipped with capabilities, such as loading the torpedo's preset values, integration with the combat management system, and firing remotely or from the tube. 
the warfare skills of warships have increased and the warfare techniques performed on sea became more and more complex. This has become an indispensable need to fulfill critical functions on time. With the development of new technologies, the combat management system concept has emerged in order to provide command control coordination and decision support capability to the commanding officers. Turkish company Havelson's advent is a new generation command and control system that responds to the needs of a force-oriented, network-enabled operational approach rather than a single ship. It is possible to access to tactical data link functions fully integrated with ADVENT through all operator consoles. ADVENT is a platform-independent system. With its scalable open architecture structure, ADVENT can be adapted to surface, underwater, and air platforms and land facilities. Developing tactics or implementing countermeasures against platforms using combat management systems whose characteristics are unknown or can be changed at any time will make things very complicated for the adversary. First, a sonar system, Hazir Torpedo Countermeasure System, Acrep Fire Control Radar, Alper LPI Radar, and Sank 3D Search Radar are some of the locally produced systems that are integrated into the Advent Combat Management System. Smart SMK2 Model 3D Search Radars, jointly produced by Aselsen and Dutch company Signal, were integrated into Milgam Ada class corvettes. The two companies were able to work together in sales to third countries. However, after Signal was purchased by the French company Thales, problems began to occur regarding the joint production of radars and their transfer to Turkey. The problems for Turkey were overcome with Aselsen's development of the Sank S radar. TCG Istanbul is the first ship with an integrated Sank S radar. A total of four frigates are to be built within the scope of the Milgam frigate project. The F 516 TCG Izmir frigate is being built at the Anadolu shipyard. The F-517 TCG Izmit frigate is being built at the Sadef shipyard, and the F-518 TCG Icel frigate is being at the Safin shipyard. All three follow-on frigates are being built simultaneously, and in total 36-month period. The continuation of the Milgam program will be with the Milgam Destroyer project. In the third phase of the program, TF-2000 air defense warfare destroyers are planned to be built. TF-2000 destroyers will be the highest displacement ships of the Milgam program. In addition, TCG Istanbul and other ISTIF class ships will be an important milestone on the way to TF-2000 destroyers. Savunma Turkey's comment on the issue is as follows. When the physical characteristics of TCG Istanbul are examined, it is evaluated that the Turkish Navy aims to obtain a platform that is large enough to effectively perform frigate duties, but has a relatively small radar cross-section that create minimum target image to guided missiles and torpedoes. The Milgam program should not be evaluated only as a project to build domestic warships for Turkey. The Milgam program is a gradually developing program in which not only the ships, but also the systems to be integrated into the ships are developed domestically. The local contribution, which was 70% in the Corvette stage, rises to over 75% in the frigate stage. Turkey is currently constructing two new Milgam Corvettes for Ukraine and co-building four new Milgam Corvettes for Pakistan. Considering the consistency of Turkey in defense projects, it seems likely that Milgam frigates, like Milgam Corvettes, will be the subject of new international collaborations in the near future. The first domestically produced 3D search radar, the first torpedo tube system, and the first vertical launch system enter the Turkish Naval Forces inventory with TCG Istanbul. In this context, it is thought that TCG Istanbul's commission to the Navy's inventory is more meaningful than the Turkish Navy adding another frigate to its fleet. Our video ends here. In this video, we examined the F-515 TCG Istanbul frigate, which is the first locally constructed frigate of the Turkish Navy, and the technological innovations that come with the ship. And if you like to keep receiving videos of defense subjects, you may subscribe. See you in the next video of the Savunma Turkey channel. Goodbye.